When I first taught myself how to work with Unity, I created a simple mobile game that involved slingshotting a hockey player around the rink in an attempt to deflect a puck into the goal. But when I was setting up the scene, I needed to create an environment where the objects inside an ice rink would be contained. And since an ice rink has sort of an unusual shape, the Polygon Collider 2D seemed to be the best fit. But upon testing this theory, I quickly realized that when you have a rigid body installed on an object that is inside a collider, the physics component in Unity will automatically push all of those objects outside of that collider. This was the opposite of the effect that I was going for. I quickly noticed that this was true for all colliders except for the Edge Collider 2D. Although the problem with the Edge Collider 2D is that I have to manually add all of these points around the rink. This quickly became a pain in the butt when it came to rounded corners. Also, I wanted the top, bottom, and sides of the ring to be straight lines, so that involved copying and pasting X and Y components into the inspector. This process took hours, and every time I made an adjustment to my sprites, I had to start this process completely over. You can imagine how frustrating that was. But then, almost two years later, I discovered something that could potentially be a solution. Through many of my tutorial videos, I knew there was a way to get the boundaries of an object. And then I wondered if we captured those boundary points, if we could then manipulate edge collider points to equal the position of those boundary points. And it turns out you can. But this idea would really only work for a box collider looking object. And in the case of my ice rink or any weird looking shape, I wanted to create a lightweight script that would calculate all these boundary points and then convert them to edge collider points. Sort of exactly how a Polygon Collider 2D works, except the end result would mean that my objects can stay inside the walls of this collider instead of being pushed out. And then it hit me. What if we just grabbed all the points from a Polygon Collider 2D, threw them into an array, and then assigned those points to an Edge Collider 2D? So to test this theory, I created a random shape in Photoshop, something that only a Polygon Collider would be able to be used for. Then I created a circle object that could roll around inside this object. And upon initial testing, you can see that my red circle does not want to stay inside my ugly gray blob. So the next step would be to grab the points from this Polygon Collider 2D and convert them to an Edge Collider 2D. So I created a C Sharp script and attached it to my ugly gray blob. And the first thing I would need to do is reference this Polygon Collider 2D using get component. Then I would need a vector to list called points to be assigned to the points in the Polygon Collider. Thankfully, this is as easy as writing poly.points. Next, I would need to attach an Edge Collider 2D to this object, which can be done by writing GameObject.AddComponent. And using this Edge as a reference, I could assign the points from the Polygon to the Edge. And then once that is done, I remove the Polygon Collider from the object by writing Destroy and then Poly. Then since I would need this to be run on initialization, I would just wrap this in the awake function and head back into Unity to see what I've done. And sure enough, my red object can now freely move about inside this collider. If I select this object, you can see that my points are all perfectly surrounding this ugly gray object that I brought into this world. I've set up this script to work with an existing polygon collider in case we wanted to edit the points in the inspector before the script is run, but in a lot of cases, we might not need to do this step. So we can actually make this optional by writing if poly equals null, which says if there isn't a polygon collider attached, then we just need to add one in the script. So then let's write poly equals game object dot add component and then polygon collider 2D. And there you have it. Now, whether I have an ugly gray blob or an ice rink, I can easily hack my objects to contain the objects placed inside it. And to make lives easier, I'll even add this hack to the resources section of my website where you can import this to any object with just a simple click. If you enjoyed this video and would like us to make more, please help us out by pressing the like button and subscribing to this channel so you don't miss any future videos.